Somme Tchoui Nkoui. Le Président. Président, please be seated. The Supreme Court Chamber is back in session after discussion and deliberation during lunchtime. The Supreme Court Chamber Chamber grants 25 minutes for the defense team for Mr. Nguyen-Chir. You may now proceed with your line of questioning, Counsel. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, Council. And good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Um, I would like to take you back to um, the first months of 1975. Um, the attack, the final attack on uh, Pursat, uh, Batambang, Sisophon, and other cities in the northwest. Um, do you know who was? Militarily leading the final attack. Who was in charge uh, of the attack, final attack on these cities? Witness. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Bon après-midi, Rohingyam was the one who led Rosnim the final attacks. My apologies, um, something went wrong, Mr. President. Um, you said, uh, I believe that Nim was in charge of the final attack. Um, what about Kleng? Did he have a role in the preparation of the final attack? Answer. He was the uh, general staff. Il he was part of the general staff. Il partie de and was he involved Question. in the planning of the attacks? À la planification de cette attaque. But your answer, yes, réponse. he was involved. Oui, il y a participé. And what exactly was your role? Et quel était votre rôle précisément? I was a messenger, merely a messenger, transport carrying messages, messages from the, the uh, from the battlefield to the rear battlefield. Um, was it indeed a joint attack um, from the two divisions belonging to the Northwest Zone, a uh, joint attack on all these cities at the same time, somewhere in April 75? But Answer. The areas were divided during uh, the attacks. Division uh, 1007 uh, was in charge of the attack from the south to the north, and the division uh, 1006, which was noted down on the, the letter, in res was responsible for attacking from uh, the north to the south. Um, Mr. Witness, you call these divisions uh, 1006 and 1007, respectively. Uh, at the time, were they also known under a different number? 
numéros à l'époque. Answer. Réponse. Uh, the numbers uh, were not used on the envelope. I, Il avait pas I de saw such sur figures. 1707 et le And how many days after 17 April 75 was that the case? Quand ces divisions ont-elles réussi à battre l'armée de Lonnol? Et combien de jours après le 17 avril 1975? Yeah, I... Réponse. Answer. I could not figure it out how many days. Je ne saurais vous dire. It was uh, after the six or perhaps a few days after that date. Le six. Um, once the Lonol forces were formally, officially beaten, Donc une fois um, what happened then with the population of Batambang or Pursat? Uh, were people evacuated? Que s'est-il passé avec les populations de Batambang et de Pursat? Les citadins ont-ils été évacués? Bah. Réponse. Answer. After the the country was uh, immediately liberated, oui, tout de suite après la libération du pays, was Ta in charge Wain, of the uh, radio station of Jamkaje. Il était responsable de la station de radio de Jamkaje. Announcing to Lunol force to lay down weapons and uh, people in general felt very happy and les gens étaient très heureux. delighted about that. Tout le monde était joyeux. Later on, I uh, do not tell you the exact date, later on, bon, je n'ai pas la date exacte, mais par la suite, the happiness turned into distress. People were evacuated se from their houses in towns de leur ville to de leur maison et ont été envoyés dans la forêt. No more houses for people to live in. Les gens n'avaient plus de maison. And what happened Question. to the Lonol armed forces who had just surrendered and had put down their weapons? Lonol, what happened, what happened to them? Que leur est-il que leur est-il arrivé? Réponse. Answer. They were gathered to welcome the late king Norodom Sihanou. They were transported in vehicles. And uh, I felt uh, jealous at that time because I was thinking that uh, I was living in the forest uh, for so long Alors, and I was not allowed to go and welcome the late king. Ten days later, I realized that uh, these uh, sol former soldiers were taken away and killed. Et jours plus tard, c'est là que j'ai su que ces soldats avaient été emmenés et tués. And who, Question. within the Northwest Zone forces, um, was responsible for the decision that these former Lonol uh, military were to be killed. De la décision de faire exécuter ces soldats. Yeah, Mr. Mr. President, I have one objection. The question, who within the Northwest military presumes something that it was a person within the Northwest military? So I'd ask counsel to phrase the question neutrally as to who was responsible. Au conseil de poser une question plus neutre. Quant à qui était responsable? Um, I have no problem. Um, oui, pas de problème. In doing that, Mr. President, who, Mr. Witness, was responsible témoin, for the killing? Responsable de l'exécution. The physical act of killing. I mean, who was in charge of executing 
qui s'est occupé d'exécuter military who did the actual killing militaire de London qui you tell us a little bit more a commis ce massacre qui enfin qui l'a exécuté pouvez-vous nous en dire plus answer i have no réponse full information uh, what i Je saw is détails, that uh, these people were ce que j'ai vu in trap in vehicles and taken away to welcome the late king Sien. the vehicles were the kind of uh, cmc trucks des camions gmc uh, with ça ressemblait à des camions gmc qui étaient recouverts and uh, they were told that they had to go and welcome the late king on leur a dit d'aller accueillir Fleur le Roi. Car moi, je n'avais pas le droit d'aller voir ça, mais je ne sais pas qui s'est occupé. Monsieur le Witness, laissez-moi vous lire un excerpt de la déclaration d'un des soldats de la zone nord-ouest. Un homme qui a testifié en cours, donc je peux... Um, pronounce his name. Um, this witness with the name um, Ung Chat. Uh, Mr. President, that is document E3-5774. Um, English 0 0284420. French 0035233. And Khmer 0027733. Now I will read a small excerpt from his statement and then I will ask your reaction, Mr. Witness. Um, question. Did Tassarun Battalion participate in the operation to kill Lonol soldiers at Tulpo Chere? Answer. Those participated personally were Ta Kleng, Ta Sot, and Ta San. On that same English page, on, on the top of that page, it says as follows. Where were the Khmer Rouge soldiers who carry, carried out the killing of those Lonel soldiers from? And Umchat answers as follows, Mr. Witness. My unit in the 26th Battalion was not involved with this operation. As I knew it, those were troops of Battalion 201 from Sector 7 and the zone troops of Battalion 24 who carried out this operation. Could you please give a reaction to this statement? I don't think it's particularly helpful to just read a statement and ask a witness for a reaction. He can testify to his knowledge. He's already talked about the fact he learned about these events 10 days later. If counsel has a specific question from that as to whether or not this witness is aware or agrees or disagrees, that would be fine. Um, if I had all the time in the world, Mr. President, I surely would um, approach it more openly. Um, but he has already indicated that he isn't quite sure of who was responsible militarily. That's why I thought it would be appropriate to confront him with these specific excerpts. So at this stage, I think I would be entitled um, to read out these excerpts from Ung Chat's statement.